Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> what will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. I grow tired of this game. Finish him, and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's-a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, Nipote. <clears throat> Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. De Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Here we are, Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? I begin what? I'd come here to drink. No, Uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. 
But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che mi convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. <laughs> Glad to be of service. friends about me. Feel better now, but take care in future. <clears throat> Weapons of the finest grade. Here for your first only the Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Ottimo. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin. 
I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. Benny, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I told you to have the Codex page he was holding as well. Codex? See, a guide to the inner workings of the Order, its origin, purpose, and techniques. Our credence. Your father believed the Codex contained a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. Perhaps that's why they came for him. Assassins, Templars, Codex pages. This is a lot to take in. You need to open your mind, Ezio. Always remember, nothing is true, everything is permitted. Chiudiamo questa faccenda. Come now, you bore me! Come on, there is only one of me! I intend to... You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was... an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued their nefarious work. You've really come into your own. Thank you, uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine! Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna! Uncle, wait! Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables.
Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike, Pronti. All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Al attacco!
Well done, Ezio. We are in. This way, men. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? Stay put. We're meant to be soldiers. A signal Instead, again when you should follow. We pay the price. No one knows. But something has an on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? Signal again when you should soldiers. follow. Give me a minute. Instead, he's turned us into nurses. Mark your man. Shooting his mouth off again, no doubt. Angling the wrong sorts of people. And so now, we pay the price.
Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Ah, Nicole, there you are. It seems my plan is to come to an attack. Here these men ambush, and now we've got our country. My brothers and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root out that place. See that justice is done. I can't do that. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble. Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> Then let's not keep him waiting. planning. Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa.
seul mec Come and see me next to pass this way And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio, walk with me. Yes, uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. A Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But, I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. 
Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Vieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall.
Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Buon viaggio! Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. 
It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. All who need aid are welcome here. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. 
Ha-ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm... This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato. Where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. My pouch, oh, my money. Your money. I don't have your money. <laughs> Get back here. Make me. I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? 
They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. We must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. Here we are. Francesco di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna.
How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. The door! Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here! If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post, so help me God!
Saverio! I'll be back with the other guards! Yes. Yes. I think I got away. Dei omnipotentes, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat sempre. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation, as long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible! The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. Guide us. Look at that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the Assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database.
I know where Francesco will be and when. But... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Hmm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici. And it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of High Mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. What? Come back here!
Release our ship! Go! Harbor no kindly stop for this harbor killer! Keep going! Ah! Yeah, it's one of the ghosts, huh? Yeah, it's one Ourselves are delivering good quality and fair prices. See for yourself. Oh, creature, stay away from me. There's Lorenzo and his wife. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. Time to strike. Crepa! Traditore! Giuliano! No! Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. I'm killed. You brought this on yourself! Die! Just die already! Please! Please help! You saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust. Can you... Ah. Fall in. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. Damn! 
Francesco de Pazzi! I'll kill him. I'll wipe his entire family from the city. They'll be erased! Quiet out, heavy signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. We're almost there now. Get down from there! Aura! I've not forgotten. I had hoped come back. I'm more than capable of that. Let's do it. No, no, Lorenzo has been wounded! Aprite la porta! What's the password? Poliziano, open the maledetta porta! By the thrice greatest, come in, quickly! The city is at war! Hurry! Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh. Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him.
Signori, I saw Francesco lead a battalion around the back of the Palazzo della Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can! One's coming. It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano!
Now Firenze will judge you for what you've done. It's over. It's all over. Meglio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Libertà! 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 Popolo e libertà! Libertà! Francesco? When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I walked to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. The attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviatti, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene, I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait, before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity, as did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga.
Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally. So he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli. Brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone. Known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei. Witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. Archbishop Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. I've marked the Palazzo Medici on your map. In order to achieve 100% sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore it. Ezio, thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city is safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design for delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. A 
all done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? A presto, Ezio. Buongiorno. Salute, Ser Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Buon viaggio!
Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? Presto, Ezio. <laughs>